Well, right now, United Way of Dane County is taking volunteerism year-round with Seasons of Caring. And it is kicking it off with community members at the Madison Mallards Duck Pond. And that is where we find the CEO of United Way of Dane County, Renee Mo. Hi, Hi Renee. Renee. Hi, Charlotte. Hi, Mark. So for those who are not familiar with Seasons of Caring, tell us mm -hmm. all what it's about. Absolutely. So every year United Way has had a fall campaign to kick off the annual fundraising campaign. And we thought, gosh, we're trying to make change all year long. So rather than celebrate fundraising in the fall and volunteerism in the spring, why not kick off a whole season of caring? Because we're trying to make change all year and we'll kick off fundraising and volunteering and advocacy each and every day of each and every month and really start something new so the community can get engaged and help create change. And the need seems to grow year after year. Well, there are population growth issues and there are certainly economic circumstances changing income levels and jobs and technology and all of those different things, affordable housing. And that's why it's so important for the community to come together. And today we've got a number of volunteer projects, people decorating books for babies bags for new parents. We have people who are labeling cans so there's more healthy, nutritious meals and homes. And when people have access to food, they have more money to spend on housing, for example. So lots of volunteering, lots of ways to address needs that are growing, but in a way that actually can make a difference and solve problems for our families and make sure that these statistics that we understand, they're not just numbers, these are our neighbors. And when we come together, we can really affect change. Renee, talk about um, the reaction of the organizations that you have been helping through Seasons of Caring. Yes. Oh, they've been so excited about the opportunity, not only to have over 900 people coming together today at the Mallard Stadium to really do so much engagement, but they'll be able to take these food bags, these food bottles, they'll be able to take the Meals on Wheels bags that are being decorated today and help thousands of families in the next coming weeks. So they're just delighted to be a part of this. It's a huge partnership between the nonprofit community, the business community, and anyone who wants to make change. And United Way is so proud to be happy to facilitate that connectivity between people who need help and people who want to give help to make that really um, connect those two things and affect more lives change across Dane County. So how do people get involved if they want to want to help out or if they need help? Absolutely. So if people want help, they can call United Way 211. That's a 24-7 information referral line that'll get hooked into resources all across Dane County. If they want to volunteer, they can go to volunteeryourtime.org. That is a portal of volunteer projects all across the community. People can either put on volunteer projects or sign up to volunteer. And of course, we always accept charitable contributions. We need people to invest. The United Way campaign is an investment in nonprofit budgets and change plans all across next year. And that's that's why giving is so important. You can give online at our website or give through your workplace campaign. And I think you'd be amazed how good it feels to give of themselves to help mm -hmm. others. It absolutely does. And we know there's research now that shows when you give back, when you give time, you get a benefit of feeling better. We know people who volunteer live happier, healthier lives, and it's just good for the whole community all around. Well, Renee, you are beaming, so obviously this <laughs> oh, works. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's right, Renee. Day. Living proof. Yeah, thank you so much oh. for joining us, and thank you for doing Thanks, what you Charlotte. do. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will continue to bring live updates of today's event, which runs until 6 o'clock. And if you can get out there and do something good, please do so.